really sick this time around. So my voice will be really cracky and I will probably crack a lot of words. But today we have a new DLC. It's free to the public. I haven't got the other DLC yet because I haven't had the money. But this new DLC was free and we're going to do a vehicle tour and shop setup. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. And share the video if you enjoyed it to all your socials so everybody can find it. Now most people have probably already seen this because it's probably already all over YouTube. But we're going to pretend it's not. That's because that's how we roll. I want to find it. And that will be the first things we buy. So this is the new DLC. Yeah, these right here. Four, two vehicles, two attachments. So let's buy these. It appears we have a... What's this? A slurry spreader, so liquid maneuver in other words. We can make it yellow or gray. I prefer yellow because it just looks better. We can get, get narrow tires, standard, wide tires. Narrow tires are standard. Then we're going to go with the wide tires. <coughs> like my voice is cracked just then. Then we'll go for the wide tires though. And we'll go ahead and get this bad boy which probably has the exact same choices. So we'll put wild tires on this too. And we'll buy that. And then we'll buy this. Which holds 25 grand. 25,000. I think it holds more than the other one did in it. Or less than the other one did in the other game. I think it was like 30,000. I don't really remember. I think it was. But my voice, like I said, is really cracky. So I hope they don't get in the way of the stream. But please just enjoy. This was 35,000. This wasn't. Okay, got you. And, and it's raining as soon as I start the stream. So bad luck for me, I guess. But... Nice looking vehicle. They've been redesigned, it looks like. It looks way better than it did. In 17, probably not. Probably the same. Probably not the same. They look different to me, I guess, because it's better graphics. I honestly don't know. But we're going to go ahead and take these to the shop. I think there's more attachments and different things. Because they wouldn't have just put two attachments in two vehicles. <clears throat> Would they? They would. Okay, well that's fine. It's it's just a little old vehicle thing. I don't know why I'm in planners or trailers. It ain't gonna know what to look for. Thinking, yeah. So we got a couple agro wagons and yeah, not much to this DLC, but it'll be fine. We'll make it work. Yeah, this is all this DLC is. Yeah, I mean it's it's good cool I like it I like the way it's redesigned it looks better than it did but we're gonna go ahead and take these first things to the shop they sound better interior looks so much better than it did in 17 let's just back on up we'll use this for smaller foods for upper grand park and also we're on Hagenstead for those who are wondering. This is one of my other favorite maps from the old FS games. I think Hagenstead's from 13 or 15. I'm not real sure I remember properly. But I think it's from 13. I think. But I still know the map. I still know the roads. So that ain't going to change. But this is mostly going to be a little vehicle tour of the equipment and a little shop set up. If you want to see me do more on this map, the best way to let me know is to like the video and comment down below we want more. Then I'll do more videos of this. I'm basically to get back into stream. My dog is doing so much better. For those who don't know, she suffered a torn muscle in her leg and it made her paralyzed. She's looking at me right now as I'm saying this. But yeah, she tore, she had a torn, she had a ruptured uh, something in her leg, I forgot what it was called, and it made her back legs paralyzed so she couldn't move. So I, I quit streaming for a good while so I could make sure she would be okay and come out of it, and she did, she's walking again, so that's good, 
I'm glad she's walking again. It's still a little, she struggles some still, but not as bad as she did. And that's the best part. Well, I that just nipped. So that's obviously a hall slurry, I'm assuming. So it's got a auger that I just now noticed. We'll just put these right here. But overall, not not that bad. I really like the new design. If they are in the new design, they look great. So props to Giants for redesigning them on whoever designed them. Props to them. Made them look magical and magnificent. But now, we're going to speed the weather time up so I can get rid of this rain because it is really loud in my headset. So we're just going to speed time up so it'll quit raining. Yeah, my voice will probably crack a lot if I don't take a drink every now and then. We're going to get rid of these government signs because I forgot to get rid of them. We'll do that while the rain's stopping. But like I said, the rain is really, really loud in my headset. So I hope everybody has an, has an English number. So I hope everybody is having a great week. Whoever you are, wherever you are. Hope you're having a top notch day, as always. I'm really think about moving the shop because I mean it might be enough room for all the stuff I'm gonna get. We'll see. But we're going to go ahead and buy our planning tractors, which is 284s and 27Rs. So we're going to get those. We're going to put the 84s on the cedars and the 7Rs on the planters. So these are going to have sand tires because to me, you should plant with sand tires, not with trailboard tires. But some people do it different. Don't at me. This is how I do it. So we're going to get our two 8Rs. They still sound broken. I hope they fixed the sound since the update because they really sounded really bad. So let's hope that's fixed, but it's probably not, but we'll see. <clears throat> I'm going to buy our planters. I need to buy one more of those. And there's recently a new map that I dropped that I didn't stream because I was still watching my dog it was the farming country farm country something that that's the new map it's a really cool map it's a big map if you're into big maps so if that's your taste then by all means why ain't you downloaded it okay we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put one on mud and one on Michelin because I want to run one with doors and one with singles just because, just because. 
And now we're going to run this one on Michelin and Lake Tower Flood. <coughs> we're going to use that one with trailboard tires to do other things as well. That'll probably be my... I'll think of the name in a minute. Lime spreader tractor. So, that's a thing. Mm. I'm going to get this bad boy because it's pretty good size. Alrighty, the rain has stopped. The game is saving, which is a good thing. So, if we suffer any crashes, it will not affect us from this point on. We're almost on night time though, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn down the tractor noise a little bit because it is really loud in my ears. Actually, I'll just turn down on my headset because then it'll turn down for y'all too. So, this is going to be our corn factory and cotton and sugar beans. If I ever do sugar beans. But I hardly ever do because I just don't really like sugar beets that much. I mean, I don't mind harvesting them, it's just planting them. I mean, it's just a lot of work. To, to, to. I know the sugar beet harvester, you ain't got to top it, but I just don't like doing sugar beets and potatoes because where I'm from, we don't do nothing like that. We're all rice wheat. <clears throat> Voice back there. We're all rice, wheat, uh, corn, soybeans, milo. That's all we are where I'm from. Like, it's a, an American crop, so that's mostly all I do. <coughs> now that I've been in my throat, maybe I can say it better. We do rice, wheat, milo, soybeans. That's all I mostly do. Besides milo, because milo is not an accessible to me. Really would like to like really set up the shop, you know. Actually, I'm gonna do a little bit of landscaping, and we're gonna paint. So I'm gonna paint a lot. That's dirt, That's rocks. What the fuck is that? Is that water? I think that might be water. I don't know what that is, but it looks. <clears throat> but it looks cool. We're gonna run this. Because why not? I'm just gonna cover all this grass up so I can have a full out shop ground. I'm gonna take out the road some. That'll be fun. I don't really need roads to exit my shop because I don't really follow roads. I make my own route. I only follow roads when I wanna like really get realistic, but well, I know using a money mod ain't being realistic, so I don't bother. It's just, I use the money mod because I like to get everything right then and there. I know that takes the fun out of the game for some people. But, don't at me, but that's just the way I like to do it. I like to buy everything straight up so I can have it to my disposal. Because it's just the way I am. So while we're over here, widening our shop ground, we want to get rid of all the grass because we don't need any grass in our shop. We get rid of everything. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> See, my voice cracks a lot because I'm sick, and it's really annoying. I wish it wouldn't, but it does. So, me taking out all the grass you see is going to have some kind of equipment on it. Whether it's big trucks or like a mini shop, it's going to have some kind of equipment on it. My voice is steadily cracking and I was getting on my nerves. But there ain't much you can do when you're sick. So, I probably won't talk a lot. Once I get to buying things, I'll probably stop like talking for a pretty good minute. Just because my voice cracks a lot and... It's just really annoying. Oh, almost took out the field. You'll see that. So now we're going to go to a square. We're going to square this off. Okay, 
You quit moving, square. There we go. We're just going to get rid of this entire like that, so let's just go ahead and do it. We'll square this off. There we go. Probably make this a little grass field for animals if I do get some. A lot of trees, and I'm not liking all the trees. Since I've done this, it just looks like somewhere just out of the random. I may go take out a field. No, we're just in the shop. I ain't going all that. Not in this field. Maybe in a different one. Not in this field. So you're looking at probably like a 40 minute video, maybe an hour, so we don't have to do things. So let's see. If anybody wants to join me in a YouTube stream, that's how much fun this. Drop your gamer tag in the comments, and once I add you, I will delete it so nobody can add you if you don't want. So I'm on YouTube a lot. I watch a lot of YouTube videos, so I will probably see it before you know it. And if you want to do... That's really cool. If you like go into this, the mirrors fold out. How cool is that? I don't think that was in the other one on the other game. On 17, I don't think they did that. But that is real cool. The mirrors fold out. That's really cool. Alright, let's get our 8 R's to the shop. <laughs> Put this right here because I don't know. Probably because I want to. But if you do want to be on a YouTube video of me next time I stream this, I might is recommended, but you don't need one. I'll just feel like I'm cool. If you don't have one, then I'll have to talk about what you're doing, which ain't a big deal. Really. I could do that if you don't have a mic. But if you have a mic, that would be like, great if you have one. If you don't, it's still okay. Because stop. 
just, you had a mic, but it was a fun conversation with each other when we're doing like, you could say, well, I'm going to go do this in this field, and I'm going to, all right, I'm going to do this in this field. Instead of me just trying to figure out what you're doing, you can tell me. But like I said, you don't need one to just get some person that you have one. But I'm sure most people who play this game have a mic, or have a PS4, have a mic by now. If you don't, it's like I said, it's no big deal. We can be without mics. I won't even wear mine if you don't have one. Then we'll just be the quiet crew. Okay. So I need my disc now, so I gotta get my magnums. I always put these on disc, I don't know why. It's just I always do. It's just... I don't know. It's just I always make the case heights man with my disc contractors. I don't know what it is. It's just the thing I like to do. We'll put JCBs on the rollers, the medium sized ones. So I don't think, yeah, it don't need a lot of horsepower. <clears throat> so, for those who watch the video, I hope you have a hell of a laugh because I'm not going to crack it. 20 year old man, I can't help it, like I said, I'm sick. If I'm talking in the crack, I'll just turn my clothes and stay I'm gonna put these bad boys right in front of the planter because I'm gonna turn around. Put these bad boys right here. Disc contractors are here. So now we need sprayers. So let's go here. Get our navigator. This is by far my favorite sprayer. I don't know why. I guess because you can put those on it and it just it, it just looks so freaking cool. Put those on it. So we're gonna need one of these and then we're gonna get one that's on wheels for different types of fields. I think we're gonna get And then we're going to rock the brute. We'll get the rims in black. We'll put a trailer hitch on the back of it. And then we'll... We'll run like this. Looks kind of funny though, don't it? Well, we'll just leave it like it is. I'm going to buy a tractor for this, and I'm going to pull this to the top. Honestly though, if you're that type of guy who likes to like, put um, But I'm not gonna have me. To that type of guy who likes to like run two sprayers on one sprayer for like a water width and a bigger, for like a medium width and a water width, honestly, it's not a bad idea. Or like you could just like use the front sprayer to start lots of sprayers. And then when that runs out, use the back sprayer. And then you gotta go out with the shop to get some or quit spraying.
but I'm not that type of guy or something like that. I mean, it's not a bad idea. It really, it's not. I don't know where a park is. It's not, not the, we'll just put these over here on the side of the first part. I'm going to come there. I'll put this beside it. And then we'll buy a tractor for that. I think I'm going to put an eight wheel on the back of this sprayer. This will be the first time I've ever done this. An eight wheel on a pull behind sprayer. I've never done that. This is the first time me doing it. And my voice is starting to crack, so I'm going to take a drink. What is the field speed for this thing? Seven miles per hour? All right, we'll put it on back of a big foot. A uh, small big foot. <clears throat> This is really annoying, being sick. It annoys me, it annoys y'all. So yeah, I've never put eight well on full behind square. I've always used a silver button. Let's be a person. But there's always a first or something, am I right? If y'all want to see some Fortnite theme rumble on um, down to play it, you just gotta let me know. That is one of my favorite game modes in Fortnite. I don't get much kills. I don't feel it. I just see people who I can. And that's the way I am. I get kills every now and then. Sometimes I'll get 16. Sometimes I will get like 5. Depends on what guns I have and how good my top shot is. If I do that. If I do any of that. So we got our sprayers, so planters, cultivators, sprayers, seeders. Guess we could get, um, <clears throat> gotta get our, our thingamabobber here. Cause Lord knows there's gonna be some field that's gonna need lime. And we got our tractor for that, so I'm gonna buy one tractor to pull two things and I think I'm going to put this tractor behind a hmm. I just want to point something out I mean it's not a big deal to me it's just kind of funny it's it's actually oh it hasn't downloaded yet damn Never mind. I have to show you when it downloads because I have a map installed right now, so it's not downloading yet. But it, it's a Case IH Square Builder, but it's a reskin of one that's already in the game, so it's got a new Holland logo with Case IH on the side. Uh, that's pretty funny. But good job, Giants. Good job. You're giving us a big laugh there. That's pretty funny. I don't know what I'm looking for right now. I guess well, well, I can't get, can't put tether hitch on those. I guess we'll get one of these to haul like lime around to dump at fields when it's uh, time to refill the lime. Cause it'd be easier. I mean, we'll get this one. And we'll paint it. We'll paint it black. Capacity is gonna be twenty nine thousand. Just the one with the doors. Yeah. So that's gonna be what's gonna have a trailer hitch. Never mind, I can't put a trailer hitch on it. Damn. What 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 is this? Can't, is this good? This has got a trailer hitch, but it's not for uh no, I probably love it. Yeah, I don't think I can. <clears throat> What is this? Some of these mods I have installed, I don't even remember installing. Like, that's real funny to me. I guess we'll just get our regular trailer. 
to haul llama around in until I dump it out of the fields. And we'll get this. They don't have a hitch, never mind. This one does have a hitch, I'm pretty sure. Is this one? No. Okay. Does the Drakkar have a hitch? No. Okay. Alright then. No hitch. This should have a hitch. No hitch. Gotcha. No hitch. Hmm. Oh. Wait. Thought that was a hitch, but it's not. 21,000. Um. How many traders have hitches on them, huh? I mean, this one. Technically, don't have a hitch. But, like. <coughs> Manure spreaders. What? You can do that to this? I didn't even know that. Must be. That goes on back of that little flat nose big truck that's installed. Yeah, you. I don't have any trailers that have a hitch besides, uh. Okay, we got a hitch. We'll use this one to pull a lineman. This is some more work. We're gonna find a black. We're gonna find a black. It's gonna be an. We should make it no kin. I just really like the way no kin tires look. So this is what we're gonna pull a lime in. Thirty-one thousand. It's not too bad. I mean, it, it's it's something. And then we're gonna get one tractor for this. And for a lime puller, I think we should get a six R maybe. We'll get a six R to pull a lime around in. And we'll throw on some wide tires and weights. No. We'll throw on some rear twins. Then we'll teleport up there. Oh, hey. Back in thing is from the pH. Freaking, uh, we need one for the guy. Freaking, freaking guy. No drop of this. Ooh. Well, this is kind of hard. Does any. <coughs> <coughs> Dang. Does any of these other. Is, is there a different one that's. Well, if I keep messing around, the video's gonna be like five hours long. You know what? Just forget it. We'll, we'll right here to get it. It'll be fine. I need to get going. I ain't trying to make this video no more than an hour and twenty or hour ten. It'll be no fun. So since we're gonna do that, we're just gonna get rid of this and get the one I originally wanted. So we're getting rid of this one, and we're gonna get the one I originally wanted, which was the one with the, the fold out doors, because it holds way more. Then we'll get a bigger tractor. Then we'll be good. Let's paint it black. Let's throw on some Michelin tires. Did I buy it? I think I bought it. Yeah, I bought it. And we'll get rid of the 6R. Because, I mean, it's a big tractor, so we're going to need a bigger tractor. Then we'll throw a. Put the battery on it. Because it's already black. And we'll put wide tires on the voucher okay now we're gonna progress this we're gonna hook up to this we'll come back here and get this lime spreader and then we got our lime spreader here so I'm gonna be able to one that hauls lime around the fields that we want to put lime in don't know why I had to do it I have to do it What? Are you serious? I'll <coughs> put this bad boy right here beside this little shop. 
Uh, I probably won't be doing hay out on this map because I got a hay farm set up on another map that I play on. And I don't have no need for that. We'll put the lime spread on back of New Holland. I'll hardly drive New Hollands. I mean, they're a good tracker. I just hardly drive them. So we got a lime spreader here. change it well that's not fair I think they fix it where all it does is uh what it's supposed to do and that's pick up sugar beets off the ground because it was at one point you could pick up like soil and stuff or like seeds and fertilizer up off the ground by unfolding it and I don't see it anymore did they take? Oh! Yeah, it's still here. Never mind. It's right here. This is what I was talking about. <laughs> We're gonna need one of these. And a loader. Oh, he dope. He's smoky. What if one leaf singles on it? Honestly. No. <laughs> eh. Well, this thing was on it. Gotta come up over here. Let's tell the telehandlers. Get this. Uh, I guess we'll do a JCB color. No, that'd be jungle. Alright. On how much I'll have used up at the delivery center. That's what I was looking for. Now let's buy the necessities to making a profit on a farm. And that would be, come on. Hopefully, the header will fit down the road on this map. <coughs> 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 
Because <coughs> I really don't want to deal with a header trailer because they're difficult to operate sometimes. So here's hoping. But I think it's a good one. So first we're going to climb the header, and then we're going to hook up to the head. Then we'll take it down the road. We have a little bit of this way. Yeah, I think that's good. If they don't, I don't think that's what I have to do. Right on the mountain. I'll make it work. Hitting a tree will not make it work. But I'm going to make it work. Now we have to buy these. Something was come up. We're going to put it in. A hero tunnel. Preferably this one. If I can make it fit, then we can get back to the shop. Beautiful. Oh, what's come on out there? You can never go out there. That'd be fun. So we'll probably put a cotton picker or a harvester for silage. Probably be a cotton picker, but we're not going to get to that right now. We're getting the necessities of the shop. And most shops, if not all shops, need big trucks or bob trucks. So let's get a big truck. We're going to paint it. Some more of a cool purple. No, we'll paint it white. white. We'll go white. We'll get about two of them. I will probably use the double Wilson trailer setup that is a charm of working. That would be mm, see capacity is sixty thousand. That would be a hundred and twenty thousand that I would take off. Which would not be bad. We'll run up a gunmetal. We'll paint the design dark blue. We ought to think about that. Looks like shit, I know. But we're gonna roll with it because we're good. So for a second, I thought the bottom of the trailer was like a kid for a tractor. I was like, well, why'd they get changed? Kind of in the entrance, but the other one's gonna go on the other side and not in front. Of it. But oh no, boy, don't do. Looks like I got off the side. Oh.
going to get some rollers. So we're going to go here. Get the JCB, which has plenty of horsepower. I'm going to throw twins on it because we're different. We'll get two of them. And go here. Don't know why I got a roller as in cultivators. But, you know, not my place to say. And not my place to do anything about it. So we got a eight wheel, a non articulating eight wheel, which looks pretty lit. I keep seeing the roofs and like the like kind of fade out like sitting on top left top right <clears throat> top left corner. And I keep thinking it's like a terror post, but it keeps on a terror every time I think it's something. It's just my mind on the good time. Yeah, it's just like There we go, not lined up to perfection. It'll probably get to me here in a few minutes. So, what else do we need? Grain cart. We need a grain cart. I don't think we're going to need too big of a grain cart. 53. Honestly, I think this one will be fine. It's green, so I'll probably put a dutz on it. Series 9. Yeah, definitely putting this on it. <coughs> Again, another first. I never, put, I never used this type of plug. I could usually use this type of plug. It's very simple. This is our grand Probably run over somebody for this time. They're in an inanimate object. Not that they're there, but you know, they don't have a place to sit. When we get back to the top of the river, I will do something with the fairy thing. The homers just to give them a little in-depth perspective. Right, we'll see what the little monitor is doing. It might get probably not much, but we'll see. That's not done much. Right. We'll put this in the first side. We'll put this one right here. I mean, we don't need a slurry tank. Honestly, though, I'm so confused. Wait, I think there might be more to it. Let's go to slurry. Okay, yeah, we got way more. 
Okay, so I need to go buy another one. We have slurry tanks right here. Someone's gonna go down to tractors, and I'm guessing that's probably what they're gonna be. No. I didn't have trucks right there. No. What are they in? Oh, there they are. We're gonna get another one of these. I'm gonna leave the wads on it. Then we're gonna go to slurry. So probably check all the trailers. Just because I might be missing some. I'll leave it great. Give it a rustic tank look. And we'll buy this. Actually, we'll probably get the drip tips. 15. Buy two of these. We'll get one with drip tips and one with the cultivator. <coughs> Voice cracked really bad just then. And again. But it's all good. Because I said in the beginning of the video, I'm sick. So if you're hoping you're enjoying the video. Alright, so let's get a more in depth view. Let's see where all our little blinkers and lights and stuff are. So I have the right blinker. Okay, so that one's down there by the steering wheel. That's actually pretty neat. Then we can turn this on just down there. Ooh. Monitor actually works, so that's a good thing. That's cool. Our little lights on the side light up on the little buttons when you turn on the lights. So that's a cool feature. What? That, that's... That's headlights, side lights. Well, that's a lot of buttons and just with some headlights. <coughs> we got a radio right there in the center. I don't know why it says 19, it must be 19 degrees outside where we're at. Buddy seat is folded up. That is weird. Usually the buddy seat's already unfolded. Is there a button unfolded? No, there's not. Okay. Um let's hope I have a couple one of these. And I'm gonna disc up the first two fields by my shop just to give a little in-depth of it. Again, we have an auger. I don't know what the auger for, unless that's like to put slurry in it. That's really confusing. Okay. Let's put it in. <coughs> Let's get this to the shop. Cops and lights look pretty normal. So that's a good thing. We're gonna use this and build a side of the shop so we'll see how it works. It still has all the steering modes, steering front, steering all, crab steering right, crab steering left. They're all still there, so I can't do this yet until I get some steering in And I guess we'll put these here because that's where I stopped. And this one has a drip tip on it. I know they do the same thing, but if you think about it, they really don't. Those like drip tips, with what that is, I'm assuming I'm not getting it wrong, is to fertilize without. It's, it's basically to fertilize the field like you would with a sprayer or a fertilizer spreader. The displays we got, when you unfold it and get to work with it, what when you unfold it and get into work with it, the displays disc up the ground, and I think the display's called an injector. So like when you hook it up to the back of the slurry tank, it injects it to the disc, and when you ditch it, it'll slurry right behind it. So that's a pretty cool feature. Don't know why our rear end is so top heavy. We'll just turn on front steering so we don't hit me. We'll just turn on front steering so we can control it. And we'll put this one facing the opposite direction. It's really bouncy. And I don't know why. It's really, really weird. So, I'm going to check trailers, all trailers, before I forget, in case I'm missing something. So, is there anything in fertilizer technology? No. Okay, is there anything in weeders? Why would there be something in weeders? Okay, I've seen this. Right. Is there a manure one? So, we'll get this too. Wish I could zoom. 
24 meters. That ain't bad from a new spreader. We're not going to get any more of those tractors. We've just got three of them. That's all we need. Does it have a mower attachment? No, it does not. But it never hurts to check. Does it have a loading wedding? Loader wedding. I don't know. It doesn't. What about animals? Does it have a mixing top? No, but I'm pretty sure since we have this, maybe we can hook it up to that. I have to test and see. Let's see here. Would it have anything in mist? No. Okay then. Um. What about forestry? It's gonna have something in forestry. It's gonna have a log holder, isn't it? Actually, it doesn't. That's really weird. The one in the 17 had a log one. I think. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. <clears throat> um. Don't know what else to look for. Unless there's something to do with animals. I know it has nothing to do with plows and this, but we're going to check anyway. <coughs> no. I know. What about this car, Rose? No. I'm just checking, just in case. I don't want to miss nothing. What about sugar? No. What about cotton? No. Potatoes? No. We know it's got a sugar beet thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. What about a trailer? I went through all the trailers like five times. I should know by now. But I'm going to double check just to be on the safe side. It does not. Okay. So I don't think it has anything else. If it does, I don't know where it would be unless it's in like something crazy. I don't know it doesn't. Alright, so I'm just gonna call that then. So we have everything it has besides the manure spreader, which I purchased. So I have to go back and get it. But why don't we start with one of these in action and see how it operates the work speeds and stuff like that. So I need a slurry tank. A slurry trader system. So I can buy the slurry. Slurry shop, and we'll put you. We'll literally put you right here. <coughs> <coughs> and we'll use the drip tip. We'll use the display first. Without slurry in it, so it just breaks it up. Harvest field 14, you can really put it to work. 
But basically, I can say it without showing you because I know what it's doing. So, say you got this in a field that's not planted yet, or one that's already been harvested. If you have one that's already been harvested, or you harvested it yourself, and then use this, basically without slurry in it, it's just a cultivator. But when you put slurry in the tank, the tank will extract the slurry into the display, which is an injector, instead of, it cultivates and injects. These tiny hose, these tiny hose right here are injectors. And of course your blades are what works up the ground. So if you use injectors like this on the back of this, what your slurry is gonna do, you see it's hooked up right here. It's got a tank right here that comes back, shoots your slurry into this, into the hoses. And then all those hoses go into these little drip tips right here. And then when you disc it, it slurries right behind it. So you're fertilizing as you're discing. So it's just like you kill a bird, you kill two birds with one stone. You're discing and fertilizing at the same time with one machine. So it cuts work in half. Because, I mean, you obviously know what this tank's for. It's to put slurry in the tank because it's connected to the auger. But that's basically what that does. So let's go get the other one so I can describe it. I mean, most people know this. I'm just saying it so people who don't. Because you're basically probably people who don't know about this stuff. And they just know how to use it. They don't know about it. So let's put them right here. Got a little work in for today. And let's get into this one. Alright, now this one's gonna need very more for it to work. So let me go buy some real quick. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you use drip tips, if you use something like this, it's gonna use slurry really fast. I don't know why they do. I, I don't think they do that in real life, but they do in the game. But like, it is insane how fast they use slurry with a drip tip like this. What is wrong with this machine? Oh my gosh. You put the wheels down? Let's just pull that up. Alrighty, so we got 6,000 minutes comes in a little interpretation of what this thing does. Okay, this thing's a little bit broken. They need to, we need to, if we're driving this, use front steering because it is a little broken. Alright, so you unfold the drip tips. Oh. Alright, so you unfold the gliders. I call them drip tips because that's what I call them in America. <clears throat> okay, this is different. No, it's not the same. Alright. I'm gonna pull up in the field. Alright, so what this thing does, again, you got your slurry in the tank. You hear that? Hey, that's making a noise. We're not using any of it because the field's already fertilized, but it's not for the description. Okay, so basically is what this thing does is always your slurry goes into the tank. This hose extracts the slurry into the drip tips. So this is basically spraying like we can, I got a better way to describe this. Let me go here. Let me come over there. Let me get in this. Not that. I said this. I'm gonna throw down a fertilizer thing. We'll just throw this down right here. I will move this stuff. Uh, 
play again and y'all won't, y'all want to see it again. <coughs> if you don't want to see it again, I'll waste my time streaming it. I'll just play it in my own time. But like I said, the best way to let me know if you want to see it is to like the video, comment down below, we want more. Honestly though, I wouldn't mind just giving like deep doors and aeroplane and drops. But I'm a little late for the Anderson DLC because I'm sure Dagger Win and the squad's already done the video vehicle doors about what it does and stuff like that. So I'm just doing it on this DLC because I can So we're gonna let this unfold and we're gonna bring this over here beside it so I can describe it better. <laughs> They say this is putting out the liquid. Obviously, you can, of course, you know what it's doing. But this is basically what it, what this is doing right now. The brute is what this does, just with the maneuver instead of the fertilizer. So, basically, is what this thing does. <coughs> it does the same thing a sprayer does. It f it x it uh, makes a maneuver come through these which you dig into the ground and then you're you uh it's drip tip you're dripping into the soil which is fertilizing it with manure but this is liquid manure so it's gonna be like a boom noise instead of a psh noise you know but that's basically what this thing does like if i lower it that goes into the ground i want to say that noise is what it's supposed to make when there's stuff in it but this is in the ground. You see the spikes are right in the soil, kind of buried. And these make manure go through each individual hose and spread out through these tips. Hence the name drip tip. And the manure comes out into the hose through the tips, drip tips. And that's basically what this thing does. And I'm sure everybody knows what a manure spreader is, so I'm not going to do that but I'll probably will go ahead and do it just because, just because. So we're gonna fold this up. <laughs> we're gonna drop this off. Drop this off. I'm gonna go ahead and describe the manure spreader, even though people know what it does. It's good. So basically the other thing that I have that has the auger on it, I think it's the slurry hauler for this. Put the slurry on that and then you dump it into the one that I was just operating to show you how to operate. I'm going to do this in the shop because I know what this does. Everybody knows what the mood does. Because I'm sure most of you live out in the country. About springtime you'll see piles of manure sitting on the side of the field. And that's why I'm going to get ready to spread it. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so in-depth description. You put the manure inside here, obviously. 
When it goes in here, you turn it on, and then the manure gets thrown out of these plates. And then that has put straight through this little covers right here, which makes it spread out to its meter with the work with is. So that's how a manure player does. It's not that much in depth like the uh, 30 step. Well, so then take this to the shop. It's really nasty manure is, but it is oddly satisfying to watch it fly out. To some people, it satisfies me. I don't know why, it just does. Manure got a manure spreader just satisfies me to the most insane extent. So we're just gonna put them right on the ground. I'll move it later in the next stream. What does this collide with? There's nothing here for it to collide with. Are you kidding me, game? Yeah, okay. It collides with everything I friggin' own, apparently. Alright, so like I said, put manure in the back, you turn it on, it comes out of the blade and throws it out of those, which is it's working with the blade. And it don't show it in motion, but if this was real live, if this was real live in motion, those blades rotate inside the fucking belt, inside the thing that's spitting it out, actually rotates off each other which pushes it to the back so it like stuck at the bottom and it pushes it from the bottom out until it's really really empty so that's what a manure spreader does for those who didn't know but that's probably going to be about it for this stream i've got my shop set up if you want to see me play it and put the stuff in action like it's supposed to be be sure you like the video and comment down below more or I will know you don't want to see it, so I wouldn't do it. And if you like videos that explain what equipment does, also tell them, comment down below, explain more stuff about what vehicles do, and I will do that. But I, we got pretty much everything we need for the shop to get going. We'll get more as we go. I don't think we need much more besides animals and the animal stuff. But that's not important right now. What's important is the main stuff I shot me, which is planters, is combines. And sprayers to kill weeds in case they get too grown up. But yeah, like I said, if you like these videos where it explains how stuff works and how stuff comes out, even though you already know what it does and you still want to hear about it, just the best way to let me know is a comment. We got everything set up over here to the mind of the way I like it. I might change the uh, shop ground but when you see me when you see me again it might be different I don't really know because like I said I don't really like the vehicle layout I'm working with with their fence kind of over the place but yeah that's pretty much gonna be it for this stream I hope you enjoyed this stream I'm, I'm gonna try to stream more often again because like I said my dog is better so I will be streaming a lot more probably gonna stream not tomorrow but the next day and if not the next day it'll be the next day <clears throat> and I probably will stream tomorrow. I'm probably going to get on Skyrim because I finally got Skyrim fixed where I can play without anything being broken. So we're probably going to be on Skyrim tomorrow streaming and continue the adventure that I left off about three months ago. Or not three months ago, two months ago, or not even that, maybe a month ago. Oh, I don't know. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.